Hey guys, what's going on? You're watching Show Me Firearms, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking another look at some homemade body armor. This is actually kind of a follow-up video to a video that we did last year where I tried making some homemade body armor for the very first time out of laminate flooring, rubber landscape tiles, and wrapping that all up in duct tape. So if you wanna know what happened with that body armor, go back and watch the old video from last year but basically that body armor panel was an utter failure. So we're gonna revisit that today and see if we can make some viable homemade body armor. So in the old video from last year, I issued a challenge. And that challenge was to make homemade body armor out of materials that you would already have laying around the house or can easily and cheaply get your hands on at your local hardware store and to do it all for less than $100. So that's what I tried for today's video. Let's take a look at what I came up with. So let's take a look at the materials that I used in today's body armor build. So first we've got these super cheap ceramic tiles. These are like 50 cents a piece. And then we've still got laminate flooring. I just like the idea of this laminate flooring because it's a hard compressed material and it's so lightweight. So I kind of stuck with that for today's body armor build. Already had this laying around the house, so no expense there. The last thing I picked up was these rubber floor mats. So actually, this was one big mat that I cut up into these squares. The mat was like 30 bucks, I think. So my grand total for this build was like, I think like less than 40 bucks. So very, very cheap because I already had the laminate flooring and the duct tape laying around the house. So here's some completed body armor panels. This one has two ceramic tiles up front with a laminate flooring layer behind that and then our rubber floor mat on the back. We have another panel here as well. This one, I have a ceramic tile up front with a rubber floor mat behind that followed up by another ceramic tile. So I'm hoping that the extra layer of rubber in between the ceramic tiles will act as a little bit of a shock absorber. No idea if that's gonna work, but that's the theory. Behind that, we have our laminate flooring and then another rubber floor mat to hopefully catch all of the fragments. So that's my body armor build for today's video, guys. Hoping this works better than the last one, but there's only one way to find out. Let's get the setup downrange and go shoot them. All right, guys, we've got our body armor panel set up down range. Now, this is the panel with the two layers of ceramic tile sandwiched together up front, followed up by laminate flooring, then our rubber floor mat. So we're going to start off with 22 long rifle. This is where we succeeded last time. So I know for a fact that 22 will stop on this body armor panel, but we're going to shoot it anyway just as a control, and then we'll kick it up from there. So let's do it. All right, here we go. Okay, here's where we're hit with our 22. Oh yeah, I can tell already that round stopped because look at the cuts in the duct tape. So that round hit the ceramic and exploded and sent spalling out to the top and bottom. So, yep, nothing in the back. And that is still perfectly smooth. That's great because in the last video, the 22 almost came out, but this time it wasn't even close. So, yep, that tile I can feel is a little busted up right there. But that's fine because ceramic tile is only supposed to be like a one-time use anyway. But we've got plenty of real estate. Yep, plenty of real estate over here. That's still plenty solid. So let's kick it up to 9mm. That's where we failed in the last video. Let's see if we can make it happen in today's video. Okay, guys, time for 9mm. Now, 9mm blew straight through that last body armor panel that we tried building. So hopefully we can stop it in today's video. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Moment of truth. We'll stop a nine millimeter. Okay. Moment of truth. All right. There's where we hit. It went deeper than our 22, obviously, because there's no spalling that came flying out. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. Did we stop? Did we stop? Oh, we did, but barely. Yeah. Ooh. Big bulge right there where it tried to come out yep boy that tried really hard to come out guys but it still stopped it still stopped okay well 
we're already doing better than the last video, but ooh, when we get bigger, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Let's kick it up a notch and see what happens. All right, guys, we're going to move up to 40 cal. Now, this isn't that big a jump in power over 9 millimeter, but it is a small jump in power. So if we can stop this. Honestly, I'll be happy because we're already doing better than the last video. We failed to stop a 9 millimeter last time. Today, we stopped it. Barely, but we stopped it. So let's see if just a small jump in power up to the 40 will go through. It's only one way to know. Okay guys, moment of truth. Now I would flipped the body armor panel upside down from last time, so we had a fresh spot to shoot. So that is the nine millimeter. That is the 40 we just shot. So, did we stop it? We did, look at that guys. So that's where the 40 tried to come out. You can see that deformation right here on the back where it tried, it really tried to come out, but we still stopped it we still stopped a 40 cal so i'm pretty happy with that guys we stopped both 9 mil and 40 cal that is way better than the last video but we'll stop what's coming up next i don't think so i don't think so because 44 magnum is extremely powerful all right guys the biggest handgun caliber i currently own the 44 magnum we're shooting a 300 grain jacketed soft point today Ideally, I would like to use a full metal jacket or a hard cast, something like that, for this penetration test. But 44 Magnum is very hard to find, and soft points were all I could get my hands on, so we'll have to make do. Now, I think this is going straight through, because that 9 and that 40 were very close to going through, so no way we're stopping a 44 Magnum today. What do you guys think? Pause the video, let me know down in the comments what your predictions are. All right, let's do it. 44 Magnum, firing! That hit hard, guys. That hit very hard. All right. That is a big hole. Oh my goodness. 44 Magnum ain't playing around, guys. No way. We stopped it, wait, or did we? No, no we didn't. No, we didn't. For a minute there, guys, I thought we stopped it, but no, it blew straight through. Yeah. Yep, I can reach my finger all the way through. I can feel all that busted up ceramic. So, 44 Magnum, straight through our body armor panel. But hey, we stopped a nine and a 40. So honestly, guys, I'm pretty happy with that. 44 Magnum is such a big round. It is so hard to stop, but uh, so there you have it, guys. We successfully stopped a nine and a 40, but we did not hold up to a 44 Magnum. All right, guys. So we've already defeated our homemade body armor panel, but honestly, I still consider today a win because we stopped a nine mil and a 40 cal. And like I said, it's hard to stop a 44 Magnum. So honestly, I still feel pretty good about our results. So I still had like six of those ceramic tiles left over from the body armor build. So I've got all those set up in a row and I thought let's hit it with another 300 grain 44 Magnum and see how many of those tiles we can bust up. Let's do it, shall we? I think we busted all of them. That's a lot of power. All right, so one, boom, straight through, two, boom, straight through, three, four, five, six is untouched. Oh, I was wrong. I thought we busted all of these, but we only blew through five. Interesting. So let's see if we can follow our path of destruction. So here, there's where our round went in. Yep, you can see a little bit of our entry hole right there. Number two is completely busted, probably entered around here somewhere. Number three and four, who knows? I don't know, it just gets to be chaotic destruction the further down the line we get. But, we still stopped that round of 44 Magnum, guys. Number six is completely untouched. 
Oh, uh, I thought that would break. Dang it. That's more like it. Well, there you have it, guys. That is my version 2.0 in the homemade body armor game. Now, we didn't stop the 44 Magnum, but we did stop the 9mm and the 40 cal. And honestly, guys, I'm happy with that because in the last video, we didn't even stop a 9mm. But today, we did. So I'm happy with that. Now, the challenge that I issued in the last video, guys, and reiterated today, that challenge still stands. So if you guys have any ideas of how you would make homemade body armor with readily available materials that you already have or can get your hands on at a hardware store for less than $100, let me know what those materials are and how you would build it down in the comments. And then if I get enough submissions, I'll go out and get those materials, build that homemade body armor according to your specifications, and then maybe we'll do a part three to this series with your guys' submissions. So bring it on guys. Let me know down in the comments what you would do and how you would do it for some homemade body armor. Also guys, just wanted to say thank you because we recently passed up 400 subscribers here on Show Me Firearms. That is just awesome. Guys, you guys have been killing it with those subscriptions, the likes, the comments. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. But be sure to keep liking the videos, sharing the videos, and make sure you're subscribed so that we can really make this channel go somewhere, guys. Because the more you guys that jump on board, the bigger and more fun things we can do down here on the range. So again, guys, thank you so much for 400 subscribers. Let's keep it going, and we'll see you at 1,000 subscribers. Thanks so much for watching Show Me Firearms, guys. I appreciate you being here. And don't forget, until next time, show me them firearms. Woo! What a way to send off a monster mower, am I right? So much freedom!